State laws are not as unique as you may think. Often, legislators take uh, text from either state bills or interest groups. For the past 14 weeks, we've been working with the Sunlight Foundation to detect, to build a tool to detect in real time where legislators take text from. Let me start with an example. A month ago, Wisconsin passed a bill limiting abortion rights. It was immediately observed that there were similar bills in other states. In fact, many of these bills contained identical language. For example, there was a bill in Louisiana that, uh, that was very similar to this abortion bill in Wisconsin. It contained a, a passage with identical text to the bill in Wisconsin. There was also another bill in Kansas with identical text, as indicated by the highlighted text here. Copying of this sort is actually very common because legislators lack the time, expertise, and staff to write their own bills. However, identifying such copy text is very difficult to do. It requires reading large, uh, large sets of documents and manually identifying the, uh, the matching text. Our tool, the Legislative Influence Detector, or LID for short, uh, automates this process by, by using machine learning algorithms. It works as follows. We have a live demo, by the way. Uh, uh, it works as follows. You insert uh, text, such as a portion of a bill or, or the whole document itself, into a search box, and then LID outputs a list of candidate bills. Once the user clicks on one of these candidate bills, LID outputs the shared text between these bills. LID uses an algorithm from Bioinformatics to, uh, that is used to identify similar regions in DNA sequences, and that's how it actually finds this similar text. To test the usefulness of our system, we inserted the Wisconsin bill into LID, and we quickly found that there are many other states with similar bills. We found Arkansas, Georgia, Idaho, uh, Iowa, sorry, <laughs> and so on. We found actually in a matter of minutes that there are 41 other states with similar bills. Because LID is a real-time system, it enables users to answer questions that would have previously taken uh, that would have previously taken months, if not years, and lots of tedious work to answer. This summer, we were interested in understanding the influence of, state, of interest groups on state politics. It's already well known that interest groups have a lot of success in writing bills and getting them passed by state legislators. State legislatures. However, it is less well known how much success they actually have. So we collected over a thousand bills from the websites of Al ALEC, a conservative interest group, and ALICE, a liberal interest group, and fed them into our system LID. We were able to determine how much success these organizations have had in each state for the past five years. As this analysis shows, LID will enable researchers, journalists, and concerned citizens to better understand where state laws come from. We, we believe that LID will help increase transparency in state politics, thereby enabling society to keep the government accountable. Thank you.